Hi, it's Charles at Empress Mills, and today we are taking a closer peek at the Mixology Collection by Three Wishes. It is, in their own words, a fabulously fruity collection, uh, particularly in terms of the colours and the metallics used. It's a very, very zingy um, collection of prints, as you would expect, given the name. And to be honest, we picked it out because we just thought it hit with the uh, summer sun that some of us, I know not all before I get in trouble, some of us are seeing in the UK at the moment and I just thought it popped along with that. Um, the design I've got in my hand, which when we get into the others, you will believe me, is one of the uh, more subdued ones from this collection uh, because it is a really, really fun, zingy range. But this one, as with all of them, has metallic on, as we can see picking up the silhouette of these bottles. And you've got all sorts of different bottle shapes there and there are a few different angles so you can rotate this design quite easily. Um, and the background blue in this, which hopefully we'll be able to see, also has some nice sort of mottled shading on. So along with the individual bottles as well. So it is a really, really nice, um, nice design. And it is, as I say, almost the pastel version of what you will now see uh, in the others it just gives you that slightly uh, it ju just gives you a slight other option than going super duper bright which you'll see with the others this one's just ever so slightly toned down if you believe me when looking at that one but uh but super use of metallics uh glitter in fact is all, is all on all this it's not sort of um, a foil metallic it is glitter and to my way of thinking, the sign of a good glitter fabric, you will always um, get just a tiny, tiny bit of glitter residue coming off. It's the nature of the beast. But the sign of a good glitter fabric is that when you rub it, I was checking first just to make sure, um, you, you very rarely, or you only get little, little bits of glitter off. You're not getting masses of glitter off when you give it a rub. That to me is the sign of a good glitter fabric. Um, that it's not shedding, shall we say, all the time. And these certainly don't do that, so you can be assured of that. Uh, this print is, I think, one of my favourites. It's just full of, have we got the right way around? Is there a right way around? Not particularly, but we'll, we'll spin it around so it's a bit easier to see. But it's got all sorts, just nice little, little messages on there, little slogans almost. I'll drink to that. Um, great minds drink alike, which is one of my favourites on here. Um, mixology, what have we got? Which one's that? Uh, may contain alcohol, which I think some of these will. Um, but all sorts of just just nice little words and, and bits and bobs. But again, there's nice use of glitter on there, picking up sort of the splashes and also the silhouette around the standard glasses. And if I spin it around, because it's a nice multi-directional design and also around these cocktail glasses. They really, really use the, use the glitter well. On some of the ones that we'll see in a minute, they've used it all over. On these two and the next one, they've just used it sort of relatively sparingly um, around sort of the silhouettes and different bits and bobs just to pick out these smaller design elements. It's, uh, it's nice and pretty. This one, a fruit cocktail. Mum instantly was saying pims to me when she saw this one. And again, nice vibrant colours, um, sort of very much in keeping with the idea of the of the cocktails and pims and all sorts of summer fun. Um, but you will also see again, very very nice use of glitter. Hopefully we're getting that. But it's they've used glitter again relatively sparingly on this design. Um, it's just being used to pick up the silhouette of the oranges and the limes sorry not the oranges the lemons it's up to you orange or lemons i'll let you decide whether which one that is and then we've got a blood orange on there as well and all oh and also on the strawberry now mum instantly said when she spotted this and on some of the others um she thinks like this whereas i don't i just thought oh that's nice glitter mum instantly said oh it's nice because it sort of picks up where um frosting would be if it's frozen you'll see that on some of the glasses or where or where water would be condensing and things and again, that's just another nice little thought with the design um, in mind that it's just highlighting those little details. Uh, on to some of the brighter ones. Let's take a peek at this. Just look at this. Now, the next five are all ombre shaded across the full width, but they do all meet in the middle as an ombre. 
so I can hold up just one side to show you. And as you can see, it's just fabulous is that design. Um, I say design, is that shading the way it works right across the width of the fabric, but it is absolutely stunning. On this one, I'll show you the full width, but as I say, the shade, the, the way the shades are graded, um, is it is on some ombres obviously the shading works the full width this it works into the middle and then back out at the other side so just so you know exactly what I mean by that in case I'm not explaining myself well which would not be a surprise not that I've had any cocktails today I promise uh, let me just get this spread out for you do you know what I'm getting in a tangle let me open this up a bit more here we go there we go. So hopefully, I'll just double check. We're seeing the full width then. Yeah. Near enough. Yeah, it's Love just the rope table. But so there. there we go. I've disappeared. <laughs> um, but it is the full width. Is that shading? But as I say, it grades into the middle and then back out again on the same um, on the same shading path, as it were. This design itself, lovely, lovely design. Let me do it the other way around. I'm gonna make a mess of this one. I can tell. Let me just spin it around. So this design, full of the cocktail glasses and all with that silhouette of the silver metallic. And this is where Three Wishes, they've really gone to town with the use of that metallic. Um, it adds to the cost of a fabric, does the use of metallic. So it's very, very nice to see them use it uh, in an exuberant range like this to use it with a little bit of extravagance. They haven't sort of spared, they haven't been, uh, they haven't been mean with it, let's say. But it's, uh, it is, it's a really, really fun design. In fact, I said the other one was my favourite. I think this one might be, might be heading in that direction. Now, I won't bore you with me tidying that up. I shall sort that later. Let's take a look at these other ones. This and its friend that we'll see in a minute are ice cubes, as you can see, Hope film that design. And again, now, oh, and these ones now have an all over glitter finish. A slightly lighter version than the glasses that we saw a moment ago. Um, this glitter isn't, um, isn't as firm or isn't as textured as that one. It's very, very subtle, but an all over dusting. Very, very nice. Sort of picking up that idea that everything's icy, everything's crystally on this, um, on this print. And again, just so you can see the ombre shading, look at that, wonderful. And I know it's ice cubes, but fantastic summer colours, aren't they? I mean, it's just, it's just fantastic with that sort of burnt orange shade. They're really, really nice of these, um, of these fabrics. I would say that I picked them, so, so I won't we'll be saying that. Nat's laughing at me behind the camera, but, but I, I do like them. It's, it's, it's a real, real favourite range of mine, is this. Um, the other ice cubes in sort of an icy blue and green and sort of turquoise style colour. Let me just hold that up for you. Again, blending with my cutting mat a little bit, in fact. Just giving you a bit of a feel for the shading. And again, this one, just like its brother a minute ago, that very, very light dusting of glitter. A really nice use of glitter on that one. On to the last two, which are, how, what have we actually called them? Yes, we've called them glass marks. I was gonna say they're glass marks. I will get in no end of trouble for this if I put a glass down on a table at home without a mat. I suppose if I'm on an outside table, I'd be okay. But wonderful use of the glitter to just pick up that, that fun. And again, I suppose this one really goes back to Mum's point that the designers have used the glitter to pick out, you know, where water would be, where condensation would be on the ice, where the crystals would be. Um, and hopefully you can really, really see that. It's a super, super fun, fun print. Is that just wonderful? And if I just hold it up that way, and then you can see the ombre effect going across. And again, that shading works straight into the middle of the fabric, so for 22 inches to the middle, and then straight out at the other side in the same, same path, as it were. So that's the multi-fruity colour, and then we've also got this vibrant sort of lime and yellow shade in the same print. Just look at that. Wonderful, such zingy colours. Um, Perfect for all sorts of summer projects. I know I say this sort of phrase quite a few times, but it's really something that we sort of stick to at Empress. These fabrics are designed for quilting, but perfect for so, so many other uses. Perfect for garden cushions, inside cushions, absolutely all sorts, furnishings, 
imagine a funky apron for if you're having a little barbecue party and something along these lines. Anything, um, anything along those lines. Three Wishes use a lovely quality base fabric. It's 100% cotton, of course. Um, but it's a super all-round fabric, perfect for general purpose projects, as well, of course, for quilting, if you do want to go more down that route. That is absolutely fine, it's what it's for. Um, but don't rule out those other funky projects that you can uh, that you can go to town with with these prints. Um, I hope that has given you a flavour of the, a flavour, I didn't mean to do that, honestly. I hope that's given you a flavour of these uh, cocktail designs. Um, that genuinely wasn't planned. Um, but I do, I hope it's given you a, a little flavour of them all. I hope that's been useful, seeing the glitter. We often get questions on the metallic fabric, particularly where is the metallic? Always so difficult to pick up with still pictures, but hopefully that's been of use. You know what to do if you've got any questions at all, whether it's on these designs or of course anything from the Empress Rangers, do get in touch. You can leave a message under the video. You can message us through any of the social media platforms, email us through the website, or of course don't hesitate to pick up the phone and chat to one of the Empress team Again, we will be delighted to help. Um, the other thing, just very, very briefly at the end, um, the videos seem to be gaining traction. We're so pleased. If it's something else that you want to see in the videos not related to this range, please let us know and we will be so grateful. Me and Nat in particular would be so, so grateful if you would like and subscribe to the channel. It just gives us a feel that we're doing things right. And of course, if you've got any suggestions, let us know. We will be pleased to include them in future videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.